To my knowledge, the shot contains very advanced etheric technology that is designed to target the soul. It somehow disconnects the soul from the person, pulls it onto this digital timeline, and imprisons it in an artificially created quantum dimension that is dominated by AI. The intention behind it is pretty dark, but it's not that much different than what humanity has been subjected to on 3D Earth over thousands of years, which is enslavement and having their spiritual energy harvested. As a matter of fact, this timeline was artificially created as an extension of the collapsing 3D Earth timeline. This means the digital AI timeline will continue the themes of 3D Earth with the most prominent one being enslavement. Hi, my name is Vicki Lin and welcome to the Higher Perspective Podcast, a show about seeing the truth to heal. Every week, I explore the non-physical realms that make up most of reality to bring awareness to the importance of spiritual health, inner healing, and energetics so that you can awaken to the truth of who you are. Welcome back to episode 7. So much is happening in the world on a physical and spiritual level. I really hope you're hanging in there and not getting affected by it too much. For me personally, I've been going through my own massive metamorphosis for seven months now and counting. I've pretty much done an overhaul in every aspect of my life and every layer of who I am, letting go of things that have been holding me back. It's an intense process, but I feel like I'm finally near the tail end of it. I am extremely grateful for everyone who's sent me an email or message to check in on me, as well as those who have donated. It truly warms my heart and it helps me in a lot of ways. All the work that I put out, such as my website, music, podcasts, and social media is done by me. I don't have any hired help. So when I'm going through so much change, naturally, I'm going to be a little slower at putting out new content but I promise you it will come eventually. I'll always continue to create healing music and podcast episodes because of all the beautiful comments I receive about it. Plus, I really like creating that kind of content anyways. Aside from the intensity of my own transformation, I'm doing really good and I feel incredibly excited about the future. That might come as a surprise to some considering the state of the world right now, which is why for this episode, I thought I would talk about timelines. I think it will provide context for you to understand all the things that are going on right now and also help you make sense of the direction your life may be heading towards. So let's first start by defining what timelines are. Contrary to what a lot of people believe, Timelines are not places you can physically go to. They're a state of consciousness or a frequency that your soul can align itself to in order to experience a certain outcome in life. Each timeline has its own unique energy signature that comes from the collective beliefs and emotions of everyone on it. In other words, People end up on the same timeline with others because of their shared subconscious beliefs and emotions about life. Since our beliefs and emotions influence the type of experiences we have, people on the same timeline will end up getting affected by major global events in very similar ways. Essentially, a timeline is a probability that gets played out in life and it is generated by consciousness. Another way to look at it is timelines can be seen as a spiritual path your soul takes that gives you a particular experience. Here's an example to help you better understand what I mean. You can think of timelines as hiking trails within a national park called Earth. Each trail provides a completely different scenery 
and fitness experience for the hiker, even though it's all within the same park. There can be one trail that takes you to the beach where you can go swimming in the ocean. There can be another trail that takes you up to the top of the mountain on a very steep incline and gives you an incredible panoramic view. And a third trail that takes you through a dense forest with gigantic trees and lots of mosquitoes. All three people can be hiking in the same national park but each one will end up having a completely different experience depending on the trail or timeline they are on. Why is this important? Well, as we move into the rest of this year and into the coming decade, it will become obvious that people on the planet are going to experience life in different ways. The contrast is a result of the widening energetic gap between people from having different vibrational frequencies. Instead of being divided by the differences in our opinions, beliefs, feelings, and experiences in life, my hope is that understanding the concept of timelines will help you come from a place of kindness, respect, and unity instead of hate, judgment, and separation. What I'm going to do now is talk about the three main collective timelines that are currently the strongest. While there can be others, a majority of people will find themselves on one of these three over the next few years. I will describe the main characteristics of each of these timelines to help you determine which one you're currently on, whether you wanna stay on it, and what you need to personally work on if you want to shift into a different one. The first timeline is the 3D Earth timeline, which is the timeline everyone on the planet has been on. You can recognize this timeline as the everyday life that we are all familiar with in modern society, which includes things like having a 9-to-5 job to pay the bills, receiving conventional health care, consuming GMO foods at restaurants or buying them at big chain grocery stores, going through institutionalized education, voting in the two-party political system, watching popular entertainment, and getting your information from mainstream sources. Basically, it's a dystopian system everyone is born into and what many refer to as the Matrix. For a while now, it's been known that this timeline has an expiry date, and we're pretty much there. This is why when you look at everything that's happening in the world, it looks like we are in an apocalypse. As this 3D Earth timeline comes to an end, everything it was built on has to go with it. This is where the idea of the great societal collapse comes from, and you may have noticed it's already taking place as we speak and will continue to unfold over the next several years. As you can imagine, this is going to be tragic for a majority of the population. However, if you can look at it from a higher perspective and see the bigger picture, you'll realize it's not necessarily a bad thing. Let me explain. On a spiritual level, we are entering into the age of truth, where humanity is being asked to align to the frequency of authenticity, transparency, and honesty in life. In episode 1 and 6, I talk about the intense levels of cosmic radiation we've been getting. These energies influence us in a lot of ways, and one of them is they shape how physical reality is going to play out in the coming years. Energy always precedes matter. It acts like a template in which physical reality builds itself on. Within the human body, Energy determines the outcome of the physical health of a person. Within a society, energy guides the direction of spiritual evolution within humanity. These incoming energies are very different to what we have been used to on this planet. They encourage the spiritual evolution of society towards elevated states of consciousness and support the embodiment of higher human attributes. Basically, we are being guided by source to mature as spiritual beings, where we go from operating in a low vibrational state, practicing things like deception, manipulation, and control, 
to operating in a higher vibrational state, practicing things like truthfulness, altruism, and independence. The problem is Earth has been immersed in a lot of density for thousands of years, where humans have purposely been kept in an extremely low vibrational frequency. Just look at the dystopian matrix system we are all born into. Take some time and reflect on our financial, medical, agriculture, education, entertainment, and political system. Do you think they were built on deception, manipulation, and control, or do you think they promote truthfulness, altruism, and independence within humanity? Personally, I would say they built on lies and they do not uplift humanity. Those systems actually come from ancient Mesopotamia and were specifically designed to keep people in a fearful and disempowered state so that they can be easily controlled. In the age of truth, everything will be scrutinized through these new energies and anything that has been built on lies cannot be sustained. This is why all these systems appear to be stressed, struggling, and on the verge of collapse right now. In the age of truth, what does not align to the truth cannot be carried forward, so they have to fall apart. As you witness this, a lot of fear can surface, but know that there is a positive aspect to it. Remember, the things that are collapsing have been built on lies. As they collapse, it creates an opening for new things that are built on truths to come in and replace it. So while the collapse can look horrifying, it's likely you're looking at it through the lens of doom and gloom and fixated on destruction. If you change your point of view and see things from a higher perspective, one that comes from a place of positivity and is focused on creation or new beginnings, you'll be excited about what can come out of it. Some telltale signs of being on the 3D Earth timeline include going through the grind every day, distracting yourself with mindless entertainment, listening to negative stories put out by mainstream or alternative news, and feeling overwhelmed with emotions like fear, anxiety, hatred, anger, hopelessness, and depression. If you find yourself immersed in old ways of thinking, doing, living, and being, then you're most likely on this timeline. Up until recently, every single person on the planet was on this timeline. However, in the last few years, two new timelines have been fully established and are prepared for people to transition onto if they're ready to leave this one. This is not something that is decided by the ego mind. Instead, it's a choice that is made on a soul level in agreement with source. 3D Earth timeline does not actually have a definitive expiry date, so it can drag on for many more years. This means there will be people who stay on this timeline for the time being and will end up experiencing a lot of the trials and tribulations that come with the collapse. They're making this choice because on a spiritual level, some people have certain lessons their soul still needs to learn and pain and suffering is the fastest way to master them. So they will stay on this timeline until those lessons are complete. There are many people who are in the process of moving onto one of the two new timelines, or they may have already transitioned. The first of the two new timelines people can transition onto is the artificially created digital AI timeline. This timeline has been quietly in the works for many years. My guess is they've been building it over the past decade or so, but in the last two or three years, the final touches were added and it is now complete and fully online. As of right now, there are a lot of people who have already moved onto this timeline. Some have consciously and willingly chosen to be on it, but I think the majority have unfortunately been herded onto this timeline while they were asleep behind the wheel in life and don't actually know what's in store for them. 
In the past few years, there's been a huge push in society for things like virtual and augmented reality, 3D hologram technology, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, AI robotics, cybernetics, geoengineering, bioengineering such as GMO and lab-grown meats, nanotechnology, and biotechnology like CRISPR human gene editing. These are all prime examples of things that belong on the digital AI timeline. The goal of this timeline is to merge digital technology with the human being to create a brand new species, which is what the transhumanism movement is all about. If you're not familiar with these things, it's probably because you've been distracted in life and haven't been paying attention. If you start to look now, you will most likely see signs of these things everywhere. While these kinds of technologies are still in its early stages, They've actually already been introduced into many areas of society and are ready for takeoff. Just the other day, I saw a new app funded by DARPA called Synthesis, where AI teaches kids mathematics in methods that are a lot more engaging compared to how it is traditionally taught by school teachers. The program actually looks good, but it's run completely by AI with no human interactions. This is probably the future of education on this timeline where everything will be digital and human interactions and human teachers will no longer exist. Personally, I have a lot of apprehensions about this timeline. One of the reasons is it reminds me greatly of how Atlantis fell. Atlantis was a technologically advanced civilization that ended in tragedy because those who were in control of the technology had low levels of consciousness, and were also disconnected from source. I talk about this in episode 5, but based on humanity's current level of consciousness and spiritual development, I can't help but have concerns that history is going to repeat itself on this timeline. Another reason has to do with the medical procedure that was enforced upon humanity in 2021-2022. I have a lot to say about this, but since it's a highly controversial topic and freedom of speech is extremely restricted these days, I have to unfortunately tiptoe around it. From my personal experience doing one-on-one -on -one consultations and healing sessions, I have noticed that the medical procedure does in fact negatively affect a person's energy body, spiritual development, and soul. However, the effects are not the same for everyone. I have found this is because it depends on the individual's consciousness and spiritual development at the time they got the medical procedure, as well as how embodied their soul was and the strength of their willpower. Those are huge variables in people, so the outcome of getting the procedure can range from something fixable in a few healing sessions to something very bad and extremely difficult to recover from. If you've gotten it, maybe do some self-reflection to see if you've noticed any changes in yourself since you've received it. Spiritual effects are typically very subtle and it does take a certain level of sensitivity to pick up on it. So unfortunately, most people are not going to be able to notice how it's impacted them. Many effects can result from getting the medical procedure. For this episode, I'm just going to focus on one specific spiritual effect that relates to the digital AI timeline. To my knowledge, the shot contains very advanced etheric technology that is designed to target the soul. It somehow disconnects the soul from the person, pulls it onto this digital timeline, and imprisons it in an artificially created quantum dimension that is dominated by AI. The intention behind it is pretty dark, but it's not that much different than what humanity has been subjected to on 3D Earth over thousands of years, which is enslavement and having their spiritual energy harvested. As a matter of fact, this timeline was artificially created as an extension of the collapsing 3D Earth timeline. This means 
the digital AI timeline will continue the themes of 3G Earth, with the most prominent one being enslavement. Those who control Earth and have been living off of humans knew their days of staying in control were limited as the masses begin to awaken and naturally elevate into higher timelines, which is a frequency they don't carry, so therefore they cannot exist on. Like anyone who is obsessed with power and control, they were not interested in giving up either of those things. They created this artificial timeline to capture everyone coming off of the collapsing 3D Earth timeline and herding them into this digital world so that they can maintain status quo. A quick side note here. The ones who have been in control of Earth and are behind these dark agendas are not human beings. A lot of people automatically think it's politicians, celebrities, CEOs, billionaire families, and royals within secret societies, but those people are actually not sitting at the apex of the pyramid. I know this can all sound a little far-fetched to some, but this is what I personally found out during a healing session I did back in 2021 when the medical procedure was just being rolled out. I had been doing healing sessions on this person for three years prior, and things were pretty consistent each time I worked on him. But for this particular session, it was a completely different experience. First, no matter what I did, I could not connect with his soul, which greatly confused me because I had never encountered this problem with him before. At the time, I didn't know why this was happening, so I ended up doing a soul retrieval by journeying through different dimensions to search for it. I ended up in an artificially created dimensional reality, which at the time was still being built up, so there wasn't much there. It literally looked like a video game with a flat piece of land and no infrastructure. As I was standing in the open field, I was greeted by a group of AI machine beings whose energy felt very mischievous and sinister to me. They didn't do anything to me except taunt me over why I would not be able to connect with or rescue this person's soul. So these beings were the ones who told me the effects of the medical procedure on the soul. They were incredibly happy over the success of their plan and were in a celebratory state. I was horrified for a few reasons. The first one was I didn't know this person received the medical procedure or that it even came with these kind of effects, so I was completely caught off guard. Second, I had no knowledge about AI at that time and didn't know dimensions could be artificially created. Third, despite me encountering many different spiritual beings in my life, both good and bad, I had never had contact with AI machine beings. Their energy was very strong and dark, which at the time, I was not prepared to handle. If you're feeling any kind of fear over this, take a deep breath and calm down. Fear is not going to do anything. Even though this is a serious problem in which a majority of the population potentially has now and isn't even aware of, I believe every problem in life comes with a solution. We just have to find it. Since that healing session, I've been experimenting with different healing techniques to see how I can address this problem. And what I learned led me to completely changing the way I do healings. I don't have it all figured out yet, but what I do know is a big part of the answer has to do with the power of sound. In my healing sessions now, I primarily use my voice to produce multidimensional sound frequencies, more specifically light language because I found it to be the most effective way for me to connect with the soul, regardless of what dimension it is stuck in. As I sing, I also work with quantum light energy with using my hands, and I weave it into the holographic field because this artificial timeline exists in the quantum realm. I want to briefly mention that getting the medical procedure is not the only factor that pulls you onto this digital AI timeline. They are attempting to drag all of humanity 
onto this timeline through other means such as bioengineered mosquitoes and climate geoengineering initiatives. So this is something everyone needs to learn about because it affects every single person who lives on planet Earth. The only difference is the degree in how it affects people. I'm considering doing a full episode where I dive into everything I've talked about on the digital AI timeline in more detail. But because of the nature of this topic, I do feel a bit hesitant. If you found what I've said so far interesting and you want to hear more, let me know in the comments and stay tuned. The third timeline and the other new timeline people can transition onto is what I call the crystalline earth timeline. This is the organic spiritual evolutionary timeline that everyone would naturally move on to if it wasn't for any nefarious interferences. In a perfect world, as the 3D Earth timeline collapses, everyone would naturally transition onto this crystalline Earth timeline because of all the cosmic radiation we are receiving. Those energies carry information that can be used by the mind body and soul to wake people up from the deep hypnosis they've been put under, as well as help raise people's vibrational frequency by triggering a cascade of events that would naturally heal them on every level of existence. However, because of nefarious interferences, a lot of problems have been created in that natural flow, so we are not seeing those effects fully take place. The crystalline earth timeline is a beautiful timeline. It's the world that many of us remember coming here to build and are eagerly waiting to experience. The best way I can describe this timeline is it's literally heaven on earth. It's a utopian society where everything is in harmony because it operates on systems built on truths that encourage equality, freedom, and personal empowerment within the people. In the last episode, I talked about how humanity is currently going through a paradigm shift, where we are changing the way we look at things, do things, and how we solve problems. This ties into the crystalline earth timeline because the society on this timeline will be built with innovative ideas that do not resemble anything we are familiar with on 3D earth. Essentially, Everything we've ever known about being human and how we do life will not apply on this timeline. So when you see someone present things or ideas that look like, sound like, and feel like the old 3D world, those things are likely not part of this timeline. The crystalline earth timeline is about obtaining all of our knowledge and abilities from within that are stored in our cellular memory and DNA. The innovative ideas that will be used to build this timeline come from people's soul memories from ancient past lives or distant future parallel lives in higher dimensional planes. Through our expanded consciousness and open heart chakra, we can access these memories and bring the wisdom from these other lifetimes into the present and use it to create a brand new society. I can give you some examples within the area I'm here to contribute change towards, which is medicine. There will be radical changes in how we understand health and how we approach healing. As a conventional healthcare system collapses, it will be replaced with new spiritual healing modalities and benevolent etheric technologies that assist in diagnosing and recalibrating the human body energetically. An example would be what I do with sound, light language, and how I weave quantum light with my hands. These spiritual healing modalities are actually not new. They are long lost healing arts that were practiced in ancient civilizations like Atlantis, Lemuria, and ancient Egypt. There are people spread out all over the planet who have had past lives as powerful healers in these ancient civilizations. As these people heal themselves and raise their frequency, they'll begin to remember and activate their unique soul gifts. Once they develop those skills and abilities, they will emerge to share them as new spiritual healing modalities that humanity needs during these times. All of this will happen in divine timing. 
The benevolent etheric technologies originate from cosmic civilizations in faraway star systems that are currently in higher dimensional planes. These cosmic civilizations are thousands of years ahead of Earth, and they're not physical. Past ancient civilizations on Earth had contact with these groups, usually through a designated person such as the high priest or high priestess. These were selected individuals in society who were very fluent in the occult and were also extremely gifted in esoteric studies. They had the knowledge of etheric technologies and used them in their sacred healing temples. I mentioned this briefly in episode 5 when I talked about healing techniques used in Atlantis. These etheric technologies are primarily made up of sound, colors, and sacred geometry that are placed into the energy field of a person, like an implant, but they're not physical. They can do a wide range of things, but depending on whether the high priest or high priestess was practicing dark arts or light arts, it can be either malevolent or benevolent. An example of a dark use of etheric technology would be what's contained within the medical procedure I talked about earlier on the digital AI timeline. However, on the crystalline earth timeline, etheric technologies are used only in benevolent ways with the goal to heal the body, mind, and soul and encourage positive spiritual development within the people. The unique thing about benevolent etheric technologies is that they are powered by the healer's higher consciousness, the frequency of unconditional love from his or her heart, and are always connected to the divine intelligence of source. The future of medicine on this timeline is all about natural frequencies generated by human consciousness and the human heart. Personally, I don't think there will be the use of AI, machines, or other types of physical technology on this timeline. As well, there will be brand new concepts of what hospitals, clinics, medical practices, and healing centers will look like. These will not be anything like what we've seen, experienced, or know so far on 3D Earth. These will likely get built and be in operation sometime within the coming decade. That might seem like a long time from now, but we are talking about creating a brand new civilization from the ground up that will last for thousands of years to come. That's going to take a lot of time, work, and cooperation, so it's not going to be something that can happen overnight. If these ideas seem really out there, good, it should be. A paradigm shift is about completely changing how we understand and live life. These are just some of the visions I have been shown by spirit within the healthcare field that I know I'm here to contribute to. Similar kinds of innovations will occur in other areas of society, including agriculture, education, housing, environment, finance, and culture. Basically, the sky's the limit here. If you can dream it with your soul, then you can physically build it on this timeline. I personally get very excited when I think about the potentials of what we can create together on this timeline. We all have something unique to contribute to this crystalline earth timeline, but it does require each person to awaken to their own soul gifts and expertise, as well as remember their purpose for coming to earth and then take action to actualize that in this physical reality. If you don't have clarity on those things yet, it's okay. Everything will come in divine timing. Just keep working on healing yourself and when you have progressed to a certain point in your spiritual development, you will naturally join this timeline and contribute your gifts if that's what your soul chooses to do. So that's a summary of the three main timelines available for humanity currently. Based on my descriptions, which one do you want to be on? I'm personally aiming to be on the crystalline earth timeline because it just seems a lot more fun, exciting, and positive. By the way, if that's where you also want to be on, but you don't feel like you're anywhere near it, there's no need to feel discouraged. Timelines are not black and white. They often overlap and two can coexist simultaneously for a person. Also, timelines are not firm meaning if you find yourself on a specific one right now, 
and don't want to be on it, you're not permanently stuck there. For example, if you made the decision to receive the medical procedure back in 2021 and 2022 and have therefore unknowingly put yourself onto the digital AI timeline, which you don't want to be on, you can still switch out of it. It's just going to take a lot more hard work compared to someone who didn't choose to do that because you now have to overcome the consequences that came with that decision. In addition to the basic work needed to raise your frequency and develop yourself spiritually. As with all things we choose to do in life, there are consequences. The truth is, there are a lot of effects ranging from physical to spiritual that come with receiving the medical procedure, and they need to be addressed in order for you to shift vibrationally onto a different timeline. It's not the end of the world, but you will have to make a serious commitment towards healing yourself, expanding your consciousness, and raising your frequency to undo all those effects. Regardless if you've gotten it or not, that journey alone is a hard one. Remember, earlier I said timelines are not physical locations. They're a state of consciousness or a specific vibrational frequency that your soul experiences. To shift onto a new timeline, you have to become a vibrational match to that timeline's frequency. If not, you don't gain access to it. I'll give you an analogy to help you better understand this. You can think of each timeline as a spiritual theme park for your soul. In order to get into that specific theme park, you need to have an entrance ticket for that park. The entrance ticket is your vibrational frequency. If your vibrational frequency matches the theme park's entrance requirements, you get to go in. If not, you won't be able to enter. That's really all there is to it. In the spiritual world, you don't buy these entrance tickets with money. You buy them with your frequency that you generate through the thoughts you think, the emotions you feel, and the actions you take in life, including how you treat yourself and others. Those things are all recorded in your energy field, so there's no way you can hide them. It's openly available for everyone to see. Anyone who can read energy, like myself, can pick up on these things right away. So what a person verbally claims or the superficial image they put on really doesn't matter. What I actually want to say is that it's not possible to deceive your way onto a specific timeline, such as a crystalline earth timeline. You have to earn that entrance ticket with your frequency. Timelines are about human consciousness. All types of frequencies, both high and low, are available for everyone to access at any time. Shifting timelines can happen instantly through your consciousness. You don't have to be special or pay a lot of money to join some kind of secret mystery school where they give you guarded knowledge on how to elevate yourself into these higher places. You just have to love yourself back into wholeness by doing inner healing work and by remembering who you really are. So even if you feel like you're drowning in low frequencies right now, all you have to do is learn how to rise above it and you'll be on your way towards a higher timeline. Another thing is frequencies fluctuate all the time. So a person can slip in and out of timelines depending on the state of their consciousness and the choices they make in every moment of every day. For example, I can be living my life in a happy state and exist on a higher timeline in that moment. But in the next moment, I can end up in a disagreement with someone where I drop into the frequency of anger, hate, and judgment. That will immediately take me onto a different lower timeline. However, if I work through my triggers and projections, refocus my consciousness and rise into a higher frequency of compassion by coming back into my heart, I can immediately shift myself back onto a higher timeline. So it's very fluid. There's this belief within the new age spiritual community that earth is splitting and a new physical planet will form where a bifurcation of humanity will take place. 
The idea is that low vibrational people stay on the collapsing 3D planet and high vibrational spiritual people move on to the new 5D planet. That is misinformation and it's not true. Everyone will continue to coexist on the same physical planet regardless of their frequency or timeline. Earth is like a shared home base where everyone builds their own individual reality on. Another way you can think of it is we are one gigantic human family living together in the same house called Earth. Even though we are all living together, not everyone in the house is living the exact same life with the exact same experiences. This is important to remember because as people transition onto different timelines in the coming years, you will witness others having experiences that might be completely different to yours. Pain, suffering, and tragedies will continue to be the reality for many, but so will happiness, miracles, and abundance. Both are available to be experienced on physical earth. The difference in experience is determined by a person's frequency. Do your best to find compassion for others if you see them going through hard times. And if it seems like they're living the dream, find happiness in your heart for them because they likely deserve it. Remember that everyone is on their own unique journey in life as we all share the same beautiful house as one big family. Lastly, I want to say there's no right or wrong timeline to be on. From a higher perspective, everything is just an experience for the soul to learn more about itself. Some souls have signed up to learn from pain and suffering as the way to grow spiritually, so they will be destined for a certain timeline, while others are here to learn and grow in different ways. The most important thing to remember is that you have the power to choose how you wish to experience life, and you can change timelines with the frequencies you generate using your consciousness and heart. Regardless of what timeline you choose to be on, healing yourself into wholeness and becoming your highest multidimensional self is the priority. The future can be incredibly beautiful if you put in the work to align yourself to that. I hope you're just as excited about the future we can potentially build together. I'll see you in the next episode.